well, seemingly, um, since a lot of people like to have closure, and I get it, I'm the same way. We're gonna do a quick uh, follow-up video on the um, Arduino powered body control module for the uh, Milano. So we'll just do some checks uh, to show that uh, everything sort of works and I've gotten all the bugs sorted out. We can see uh, starting off in the engine bay, we've got everything all back in and all these sensors here are all fixed up. I've got the brake uh, sensor now hooked up. It's never been hooked up previously, so it's all hooked up now. I've got the washer fluid sensor sitting here. I was doing some testing on that. The float and everything for that's on the table. We'll get that back in shortly. Um, and all the other sensors in the engine bay and stuff are all tested. So, <clears throat> moving into the trunk, we've got uh, some light bulbs out so that I can uh, do the old uh, test on the light circuit to see if uh, my programming all worked. And uh, let's just uh, give it a quick run through, shall we? Well, opening the door, we're greeted with interior lights, which is always a nice feature. All right, so first, firstly, we're going to turn on the ignition and we're gonna let the system do its uh, self-check on all the lights. Grab the keys. All right, let's see, let's watch it do its self-check real quick here. All right. There's its self-check. All right, so the warning lights that are currently indicating are uh, no oil pressure and no fuel. Uh, there is no practically no fuel and there's obviously no oil pressure, it's not running. The alternator light, as you can see, is off and that's not normal operation, but uh, I decided I was kind of do a smart sort of system. So basically I have that light for the alternator program so that below 12.5 volts and above 14.25 volts, that light was will will indicate that there's a charging system problem. So it's um, kind of a little better than the old uh, system of basically wiring it in line with the alternator exciter. Um, it's a little smarter than that. So um, let's do some other checks. Well, here's an easy one. We'll pull the parking brake, eh? Uh, let's watch that. That seemingly works just fine, right? Let's go foot around with another one. Let's try uh, the washer fluid. It's just a little reed sensor with a little magnet. There we go. Magnet's out. Yeah, well, that's working, right? So the next checks are uh, a little different. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, let's step on the brake. So brakes are applied. You can see the light in the back there. Maybe you can see, uh, the lights are on. No fault. All right, so let's pull a brake light out. See if it detects, if there's light bulb missing from the circuit, shall we? So I think this is reverse. Yeah, it's the brake one right here. So we're gonna pull that out. Pull that right out of there. Let's go step on that brake pedal again. Boom. Nice. So the way I have this programmed is even though I've released the pedal, this um, output will latch on um, until the power um, is basically cycled. So it will turn on if there's a fault and it will not reset until the car is restarted. Um, it basically is a good way of forcing me to deal with the problem because uh, I know myself and uh, if the light is not blatantly in my face, I'll do nothing about it. So um, the fact that it just stays on until the car is restarted will force me to fix the light bulbs faster. Uh, let's do another one. Let's turn on the lights for the, uh, like all the park lights. Here we go. So all those light bulbs are in. Let's go have a look. Here we go. We can see that light bulb is in there. Let's pull that out. That's a 10 watt bulb, so not very much power. There we go. We have a park light warning indicating that there's a light bulb missing. So the, um, the programming is accurate enough to detect if there's um, a 10 watt um, circuit missing. And there's even these little guys on the side of the car. And the, um, 
the system's able to pick those up too. So I think those are five or maybe three watts. So the way that I have it programmed is it's looking for a current differential between, there's two park circuits. There's the uh, front left and a rear right. And then the um, right front and left rear, they're kind of crisscrossed. So it actually is doing a subtraction and looking for a differential between the currents. And if it finds a problem, then it indicates it with the light. So it's able to detect extremely small differences in the circuits, i.e. that little five water. So that does appear to be working. So overall, I'm pretty thrilled with this whole thing and how it's worked out. And um, obviously you can't tell that anything has been done in here. It looks factory because it all fits where it used to. So yeah, I mean, apart from any foreseen weird programming issues that might come up, I kind of can put a pin in this job and uh, um, sort of kind of wrap it up and finally I have a an alpha male ARC system that's kind of cool and sort of bespoke and also is perfectly functioning so uh, so yeah if anybody has any questions just let me know I mean I doubt anybody's ever gonna go through this much effort to get warning lights working but I figured it was kind of a, an interesting project to use an Arduino to do some something like that and I've always wanted to learn Arduino so um, pretty happy that I've done it obviously my program is probably a few hundred lines long now there's a lot of checks and stuff going on in here so um, if anybody has any questions about how it was programmed or anything like that just let me know I can give some hints on how to hints on how to do it um, and actually super cool in the programming so the, obviously it's got a USB on there and if there's ever any issues, there's a special function in here. It's my output debugger. So it actually tells me everything that's going on in the car at any particular time. So it, tell, it tells me all the, um, the system voltages. It tells me all the circuit uh, currents and resistances. Um, it tells me all of the, um, the states of whether or not the circuit, light circuit's on or off or what have you. And it tells me whether or not, or it tells me also which door is opened or closed at any one time. Um, and normally this function is turned off, as you can see in my, um, my program here, we can see that that function is actually turned off, um, the debug output function and also the serial. Normally I would not have that sort of stuff going because it obviously slows down the processor, but uh, it's a little cool function that I made in order to sort of troubleshoot if there's ever any problems with it. And I just basically... Let those functions run as well and we've got our uh, little debugger it comes up and it tells me everything that uh, I need to know so uh, anyway without rambling on too much uh, bye for now and I'll uh, see you on the next one